वी आर टेकिंग चैप्टर नंबर नाइन लाइफ इन दी टेम्परेट ग्रास लैंड क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर ऑन लाइफ इन दी टेम्परेट ग्रास लैंड वॉट आर दी टेम्परेट ग्रास लैंड ऑफ नॉर्थ अमेरिका कॉल्ड सो द टेम्परेट ग्रास लैंड ऑफ नॉर्थ अमेरिका आर कॉल्ड फेरीज वॉट आर दी कैटल फॉर्म्स इन दी नॉर्थ अमेरिकन ग्रास लैंड नोन एज दे आर नोन एज रैंचेस नेम द रिवर्स दैट ड्रेन दिवेल्स द ट्रिब्यूटरीज ऑफ रिवर्स ऑरेंज एंड लिम्पोपो ऑरेंज एंड लिम्पोपो वेन इज द रेनी सीजन इन वेल्स द वेल्स इन जो आर रेनी सीजन मेनली इन दी समर मंथ फ्रॉम नवंबर टू फेब्रुवरी वॉट इज द मेजर ऑक्यूपेशन ऑफ द पीपल ऑफ साउथ एफ्रीकन ग्रास लैंड The major occupation of people of South African grasslands is sheep rearing. Sheep rearing. We have to tick the correct answer. River Mississippi drains USA in USA. Drakensberg Mountains are to the west of. The answer is Wells. Merino is a species of sheep and Kimberly is famous for diamonds we have to match the following so this is cowboys cowboys with the prairies and uh, gold with johannesburg then kudu with it's a type of animal so we'll match it with animal then chinook chinook are the winds hot winds and coal with iron and steel we have to give reasons the prairies are known as the granaries of the world so the prairies are known as the granaries of the world because of the huge surplus wheat production rise of wool industry in the wells so sheep rearing is most important occupation in the wells sheep rearing merino sheep is popular species and their wool is very warm people of this region are mostly engaged in this activity so this has given rise to wood industry here now on the outlined map of north america mark the rocky mountains the great lakes river mississippi river saskatchewan the cities uh, chicago and winnipeg so here we have this is river saskatchewan this is winnipeg rocky mountain great lake chicago this is river mississippi enumerate the major features of the prairies first of all these are temperate grasslands of north america it is a region flat gently sloping or hilly land prairies are almost treeless for the most part but uh, near the low lying plains flanking river valleys woodlands can be found the landscape is dominated by tall grass up to 2 meter high it looks like a sea of grass write a brief note on the climate of the prairies so prairies are located in the middle of the continent that is north america therefore we find continental type of climate here characterized by extreme temperatures summer for 20 degree centigrade winter minus 20 degree centigrade recorded in winnipeg in canada the important cities of american prairies so in winter a thick blanket of snow covers this region so the annual rainfall is moderate a local wind called chinook blows here write some effects of chinook 
So Chinook is a hot wind that blows in winter. Being hot, it raises the temperature within a very short time. This increase in temperature results in melting of snow, making of pasture lands available for grazing of animals. Describe the climate of the wells. So the wells are under the influence of Indian Ocean. Therefore, they have mild climate. Winters are cold and dry. Temperatures vary between 5 degrees centigrade to 10 degrees centigrade and July is the coldest month. Summers are short and warm rainfall occurs in the summer month from November to February. Drought may occur if the rainfall is poor in the winter month from June to August. Describe the flora and fauna of the prairies. So flora, prairies don't have many trees. Few trees like willows, alder and poplar grow here where water is available. Fertile soil is found in the places that receive rainfall of over 50 cm. The crops grown here are maize, potatoes, soya bean, cotton and alfalfa. So in the areas receiving poor rainfall, short grasses can be found. Fauna Cattle rearing is suitable in this area. Large cattle farms called the ranches are found here. Bison or American buffalo is important animal of this region. Another animals include the rabbits, the coyotes, the gophers and the prairie dog. Describe the flora and fauna of the wells. So flora, wells are not uh, rich in vegetation. Grass, grasses dominate the landscape. Red grass grows in bush wells. High wells are characterized by grasses like the Akekia and Marula. Fauna, the animal founds in the wells are lions, leopards, cheetah and kudu. What are the major occupations of the people in the prairies? What factors contributed to the industrialization of this region? So the people living in prairies are hardworking. Main occupations are cultivation and dairy farming. Dairy. So people use scientific methods in cultivation. They use they use the tractors, harvesters and combines and produce surplus food. They are also known as, these places, prairies are also known as granaries of world due to the huge surplus of wheat production. Another main occupation of the people of the prairies is dairy farming. The dairy uh, belt extends from the Great Lakes to the Atlantic coast in the east. So dairy farming and extensive agriculture both promote setting up of food processing industries. So the factor that led to the industrialization of this region is first large mineral deposits like coal and iron and great network of roads, railways and canals. What various activities are performed by the people living in the wells? So cattle rearing and mining are the two major activities of the people living in the wells. But some people are engaged in agriculture though it is not the main occupation. Of this region. The soil is not very fertile in wells, but where it is, crops like uh, maize, wheat, barley, oats, and potatoes are cultivated. Cash crops like tobacco, sugarcane, and cotton are also grown. People of the wells are mostly engaged in sheep rearing. Sheep is bred mainly for wool and has given rise to the wool industry in the wells. Dairy farming is next important occupation here. Cattle are reared in warmer and wetter regions and the dairy products like butter, cheese, they are produced to, for both domestic as well as for export. As wells are very rich in mineral reserves, gold and diamond mining, they are also the chief occupation of the people of this region. Johannesburg is known for being the gold capital of the world. Kimberley is famous for its diamond mines. So these are the question and answer of this topic. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself.